Tommy. I think that's going to be go down as a bit of a harsh scoreline. Obviously, two goals in the final few minutes. Maybe not what we deserved, having played so well with ten men for for the majority of it. It's, it's just an unfortunate result, really, isn't it? In the end, yeah, it's a disappointing result. People who were in here look at that and think we got walloped. Um, it was very much not the case. Um, but you've got to give credit to Southend for taking advantage of the decisions that were, they, they gained um, and where we were. We felt harshly harshly treated, but. Um, yeah, the game changed in a two-minute period with a decision going against us in one half of the pitch and then another decision going against us in the other half of the pitch. And that did literally have a quantum shift in the terms of the way the game was. We were comfortable at 1-0, I felt. Um, whilst they had possession in the first half, we controlled it and we, we looked at counter. Mm. And we looked really, really cutting on the counter-attack. And if anything, you've got to have a go at the lads who at the front end of the pitch didn't put the game to bed by half-time. So that's my only disappointment, really. I'm not. I'm, I didn't. I can't be harsh on on Rowling. Um, Jordy's made a clanger. But like I said, we missed chances galore in the first half. Yeah, the first half was a good performance. I guess if we're taking positives from this game, that's definitely going to be it, isn't it? I mean, when we've got eleven men on the pitch, we can certainly do what we need to. Oh yeah. Well, listen, I've got total faith in the group. I mean, two and a half games we went without conceding a goal, and. And it was something I could tell that they were they were keen to keep going. Um, but like I said, that that was really taken away from us when they went when we went down to ten men early in the second half because of the way South End playing the overload in the wide area. We were stuck. We were, we were snookered really. Um, so it was always going to be dig in, sit in, uh, and look for some you know get some scraps. We get a penalty shout down, get it. Um, Lawrence missed by inches from a header and that was a 2-1 so from that point of view again look I've, I've got to give the lads credit and the lads who went on because it's a difficult situation 40 minutes or whatever it was with, with 10 men um, and, the, and the game went away from us at the end people who were here will realise that you know that were lads are out on their feet and they've scored two late goals um, so yeah I'm not going to be too harsh on the lads and I think the fans who stayed behind and, and clapped us off um, understand probably the, why I'm saying what I'm saying Another great turnout from the fans, yeah. wasn't it? A brilliant following yeah. and, and credit to them. But it, it does help to have their support on, on, on oh, our brilliant. side, yeah, doesn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a... I don't know what the crowd was, but I know we had what, near three and a half or four, 400. 360. Yeah, yeah. So you can hear them. Trust me, we can hear them. Um, and they stayed with us again, which, which you know, that's what fans do. That's why, that's why they are what they are. And while well, those home games were, were great for having them on our side, we mm -hmm. got some really good results there. This one didn't go our way, but I guess we focus on those home games. Take the, as you said there, the, the two and a half games maybe. We, we look at those, don't we? And, and maybe pick the bones of yeah. the last 45 minutes here, but maybe not dwell on it too much. Yeah, well, I don't dwell on victories the same as I don't dwell on defeats. You've got to look at reasons why. And I have to say on this occasion, external reasons. You know, there's nobody sitting in there that are really culpable solely or collectively in my dressing room for um, for that result. Simple as that. And if, the, if people who govern the game don't agree with me there, then I'm perfectly open for a great conversation over a video to watch that game back and, and tell me why or how I'm not right in what I'm saying there. I think it's hard, isn't it? Because we see Kwame come on and when we're chasing a game, yeah. he's going to be putting his body around. That's yeah. what he does as a target man. Yeah. And then he gets booked for... Winning well, a header, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah, the fourth official told me he got booked for a reckless tackle. <laughs> it was actually an aerial challenge that he got booked for and clean win winning of the ball. He's a physical boy, he's, you know, he's six foot two, six foot three. His job is to be physical and there was no foul whatsoever and he got yellow carded for that. So he, he gets disappointed when that happens because he realises he's walking a, a, yeah. a tight rope, you know, and it's, like I said, I just think, you know, we've got to move on quickly. We've got a couple of focus now. It's, Oxford City are in the crosshairs and we've got to get after them, it's as simple as that. We, we get back on the horse, we've, we've been beaten, we've been beaten on numerous occasions this season uh, and it's how you respond to that defeat.